I remember briefly seeing Nutcracker Massacre on Amazon Prime last year and thinking not much of it if I'm being honest and then the past few weeks over on my Instagram all I've been seeing is people talking about this movie and I have no idea why it suddenly got this like boost in popularity but I thought as I have been seeing Nutcrackers absolutely everywhere for the past couple of weeks that I'm out and about maybe it's a sign that I should actually give this movie that I have no actual expectations for a little bit of a chance this year. But if you have no idea what this movie is about, let me quickly fill you in on the Nutcracker Massacre from 2022. When a struggling novelist visits her family for Christmas, a mysterious human-sized Nutcracker doll becomes possessed and begins to wreak havoc on the festive season. As always, here on my channel, I am now going to go and watch Nutcracker Massacre off camera, so that way if you two want to watch this movie, nothing will be spoiled for you. Nobody wants to watch a movie you've just watched somebody else watch from start to finish. It's awful, 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 awful. I was expecting it to be bad, but it makes the mean one look like James Cameron's avatar. Like, oh it's awful. I burst out laughing at one point in this for all the wrong reasons because the Nutcracker props in this were bought in home bargains here in the UK. Like they are currently in stores right now and they were in store last year and the previous year before that. Like I have been seeing these things since Halloween. So I know that they are the exact same ones. So why would you make the main focus of your movie something that half of the UK population has seen and know that you've spent no more than like a tenner on. Um, if you're not from the UK, Home Bargains is one of those sort of chain retail stores where you can buy say bubble bath, snacks and a patio set for like lower affordable prices. So um, the, the, there's no budget in this movie and a lot of the scenery and all the Christmas decorations uh, all from home bargains. The acting is bad and I mean everybody in this movie is bad. There's not a single person that can be redeemed from this and it's even got Mae Kelly in this whose name you may not recognise but you'll know her because she's Tina in Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey aka the girl who has her phone glued to her hand the entire time and gets run over by Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. Well she plays the exact same like snarky bitchy character in this complete with phone glued in her hand like oh uh, she just reminds me of a really unlikable Lindsay Lohan lookalike. Then you have Clara played by Beatrix Fletcher who has no personality besides being miserable for the entire movie. That is her one character trait. And then you've got our six foot nutcracker friend who may be the most pathetic horror movie villain that I have come across the entire year and he is so lacklustre in every single way. The sound that they have given him sounds like if Darth Vader needed to eat a sandwich like the boy is hungry and it's a grumbly kind of grumbly stomach kind of sound but what sucks is they didn't even give him a nutcracker as his weapon. They gave him a pair of jewellery pliers. Like, the math ain't mathin. The, it's not. The math ain't mathin here. You've got a giant nutcracker and you didn't even give him a weapon that matches what he is. And the only death that relates to him being a nutcracker and the joke there in the entire movie is when he castrates a guy. <laughs> that's, that's it. That is the most violent, gory moment in the entire thing. And it is clearly a pair of fake balls. Like, they didn't even put budget into it. They didn't. They look plastic. They just... <laughs> and in the end, he just dies. Like, somebody has popped him like a pool toy. And it's like the end of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks when all the soldiers, they lose their magic and just flop to the floor. The plot is about as clear as the fog in Silent Hill and it is possibly the dumbest movie that I have seen this year and that's saying something because I've watched an awful lot of really dumb movies this year but the most hilarious thing is it's not even a horror comedy. This is a horror thriller. It's trying to be serious. The only thing that you need to know about the original Nutcracker is that Nutcracker protects Clara and in the words of Scylla, surprise, 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 
our main character is called Clara and she is the most miserable protagonist that you will ever come across in a Christmas movie. Um, her only sort of character backstory, you find this out very, very early, is that she has no parents and that her aunt on her first Christmas as a baby gifted her this six foot monstrosity. More than half of this movie is a family drama and if one character stopped acting like a petulant child then it wouldn't even be a family drama anymore and the rest of the movie is Nutcracker killing people who aren't even a threat to Clara which makes absolutely no sense in the plot once you know that that is what Nutcracker is actually driven by. Now the deaths in this movie are mostly implied and it is an actual pet peeve of mine in horror movies like show me or don't bother at all because this movie for some unbeknownst reason to me is an 18 rated the gore is minimal the violence is minimal and everybody in this movie is too posh to swear so it's not even for language reasons at its core it is a piss poor Hallmark drama and if you've ever seen a Hallmark movie you know that they are the same movie repeated but they just change the occupation of the main character, what their job is and which family member that they are going to go and spend time with. That's this movie and the most exciting part in it is when a man gets his fake balls crushed by a set of jewellery pliers. Like that's the entire movie. I can't give it half a star because I save my half star rating to movies that I find offensive or problematic in some kind of way. So it, it's at least got that going for it, but it's still getting a one star in the end because there is absolutely nothing that I liked about this entire movie. And this is me being generous. I tried to find things that I liked. I really did, but it is awful and i rented this movie on amazon prime so i'm telling you now save your money do not spend three pound fifty for the hd or two pound fifty for the standard on this movie because nothing happens in the entire movie rent something else so there you have it my initial thoughts and my review for nutcracker massacre from 2022 if you've also seen this movie, I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are down in the comments section down below. If you are new here, I go by Hordes and I post a brand new video every Monday and Friday talking about horror movies. But as Monday is Christmas, I will be back next Friday talking about every single 2023 release that I actually watched this year. So until next time, bye. <laughs>